and welcome to a new video. Um, so, uh, ABD Illustrates posted the new High Hopes Low Roll episode, and if you do not know, my goodness, what are you doing with your life, please check out those episodes for the High Hopes Low Rolls campaign. Um, their art is gorgeous, oh my god gosh and the storytelling and the voice acting it's all amazing it's all it's beautiful it's beautiful is what it is so um go ahead check that out um but in my excitement for that second episode coming out which i've already watched 16 times i am drawing rook who is kind of the main character of this episode so now i'm going to watercolor wish me luck So it was so exciting to make fan art for High Hopes Low Rolls. I've been meaning to do it for a while and I actually did do, uh, I think his name is Gimgar, the dragonborn with the white scales. Um, yeah, I drew him once before, but I thought I'd go again. Um, ABD Illustrates was super important to me. Um, and still is. I love it every time I see that ABD Illustrates has posted something new, that there's something more to see, something more to watch. I just love it. Um, the art style is gorgeous. It is, ah, it's like simplistic, but it gets every single point across. And it's just so beautiful. And so, oh, the colors. I don't know, colors are really hard for me, and the outfits are all just amazing. Like, can I, can I just, I can't even tell you how much I love that art style. And I just always wanted to emulate it a little bit. And um, with the help of those videos, I managed to make my own art style, and I managed to grasp a lot of things in art that I was having a hard time with at the time. And I grew as an artist. So if APD Illustrates does watch this, oh my gosh, you're here! Oh, thank you! Anyway, but that's just that. I, I, I don't know. But I'm just, I'm just here watercoloring ro Rook. That f episode. Can I just talk about it? Like, who? I'm not gonna do any spoilers. But first of all, Rook is so cute. He's. He's just so cute, um, cause I really like kind of the more, like, nerdy, magical type, you know? Uh, that's just kind of the kind of person I like. His clothing all the way through that episode was, like, spot on. Mmm, so good. Um, uh, and he always looked very, very comfy, too, and I honestly, I appreciate that. Um, and I love, I love his hair, and I loved his clothing and ah oh, his voice his voice i guess it was more the voice of the person who plays his character but oh i love that voice so much mm, i don't know i just i'm just a i have a soft spot for good voice acting and i loved that voice acting it was very good um the episode was beautiful it's just the art go watch it go watch it right now oh my gosh but um, I just, ah, oh, it's amazing. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah. Anyway, it was, it was a very good episode. So many emotions. I was, like, sitting there, I had to stop it a couple of times so that I could, like, you know, hyperventilate and try not to cry, because holy cow, that hurt my soul. And it was just, it was just all overall very, very good. Um, so actually, when I show this piece off at the end, I, I always forget a couple of details. I don't know why this happens, but every single time I forget a couple of details. So to get the actual picture, you gotta look at like the thumbnail. Hopefully, I actually figure out how to do the thumbnail good this time. But um, or maybe I'll just clip in like a picture. Yeah, I'll clip in a picture at the end so that you can actually see how, like, it, the completely finished version, you know, with the actual details that I accidentally forgot. Um, anyway, but I decided to play with watercolor. I was kind of nervous about it because watercolor always takes me forever to do, 
and I don't have very good watercolors. Like I've said in the past, I need better art supplies, but that's okay because I'm, I'm doing pretty good with what I've got. Uh, and, oh my gosh, watercolor actually has been really growing on me recently, especially since I got all this paper that actually does decent with watercolor. I don't know, it just makes me very, very happy. Um, I might actually hang this picture up, I'm pretty proud of it. But, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm a big fan of wizards. I don't know, it's just great. In that, in that episode, this poor wizard, this rook has a, such a terrible backstory. I love it. I'm, I'm a writer myself, so like terrible backstories are like a yes for me, you know? Um, uh, maybe I should talk about the painting process? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I just lay down the flat colors and then I try and do shading as best as I can. I am like, I'm gonna do block shading this time. And I say this on every piece, every single piece of paper, every picture, there we go. Um, and I'm like, let's do block shading this time. And then I find myself doing gradients. And I'm like, this is not what I wanted. And I just I just love gradient shading, apparently. It's just my favorite thing ever. Um, but yeah, pretty proud of this picture. I like watercolor. It's very, very fun. Um, also, his little dragon, I don't know much about the dragon, but he's just, he's just so cute. I love drawing dragons. I'm not very good at it yet, but I'm getting better, and I just thought that this was actually a very good piece. Sometimes I draw things where they're kind of not very interesting, you know, because there's not any movement going on. But this one, I'm, I like, the, I like, I like it. It's a little, it's a little better than what I normally do. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think it's funny, I normally take my gloves off, like, halfway, like, like, before I actually start coloring, but, um, I forgot to this time, and I didn't notice until it was, like, five minutes into the piece, so I was like, why am I having such a hard time, like, getting my brush to behave, and I was like, oh yeah, it's because my glove's in the way, so I finally did take it off, but, um, uh, I'm always nervous about outlining, I don't know why, but I, like, I never can actually get it to follow the lines that are already there. I'm, I just, apparently, I think I'm impatient, is what I am. I'm impatient, and so my drawings are messy. But that's, that's okay. That's fine. Whatever. Um. So, yeah. I, I'm really, I'm very appreciative of uh, ABD Illustrates art. If you like watching speed paints and rambles and you like D&D, go ahead and check that out. Because... Um, his art is very, very pretty, very rewarding to watch. Oh my gosh, I've learned so much watching his videos. I wish they came out more often, but I also don't want to rush any artists, because I know how that feels. But like, at the same time, I mean, I want more. I just, <laughs> I want more. <laughs> Something I want to do more fan art in the future can't decide though because I really like drawing my own characters but the same drawing, drawing other people's characters is so much fun ah uh, oh well anyway here's the showing off I'm gonna cut in a picture of the actual finished piece here um so thank you so so much for watching please have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time